you probably saw a video of some nerd finishing a whole section 3 in just 5 minutes, when everyone else is struggling to finish it within the given 25 minutes. In this video, I'm going to go over exactly how I can always have time left over on SAT sections and get the highest possible score. Honestly guys, if you are a student taking the SAT, you don't have to finish in just 5 minutes. However, the most common concern for high school students preparing for the SAT is that they are always running out of time on these sections, and as a result of that, they are missing more questions than they have to. Like they finish half the exam and they check the clock and they realize that they have 5 minutes left and 25 more questions to go, they start panicking. And they end up going really fast on the last half of the exam and they start making these careless mistakes, missing the questions that they actually knew how to solve but they just got it wrong because they are just rushing themselves. And that's exactly why you want to have some time left over on these sections so you won't make any careless mistakes by rushing yourself. And second, going over your answer choices to make sure that you answered everything correctly and didn't make any silly mistakes, like bubbling D when you have to bubble in C. Guys, that actually happens pretty often than you think. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. The secret to have time left over on these sections is to minimize the time it takes for you to look at the question and start solving the question. If you analyze my performance, what you can see is that I saw the question and I started working on it right away. That means I saw the question and knew exactly how to approach that question, how to solve that question. However, how most people approach this question is they look at the question and they ask themselves, hmm, do I try this? Do I try that? Do I try this? They think over 60 different approaches on a single question and thinking about those 60 different approaches, that takes up all the time and you end up spending about 3 minutes on a single question. Another problem is that they try methods that just don't work. Let's say there's one specific question right here and they try a method and they spend about 40 seconds to only to find out that that was the wrong method, it just didn't work. And you know what that means? Your 40 second is just psh, it's gone. And if they're lucky, they might be able to find the right method in a second try, but that doesn't always happen. So they end up wasting 40 seconds, 40 seconds here, 40 seconds there, and there you go, your time's almost out. So the main difference between having time left over and running out of time is knowing exactly how to approach these questions the moment you see a question. And you might be wondering, is there a way for me to prep so that when I see a question, I know exactly what to do and not try 60 different things? And the answer is yes. And you know what? It's actually really simple. You just need to do these two things and you're going to be set. The first step is for you to know exactly what shows up on the SAT by heart. Let me give you an example with a math section. There's about 24 concepts that show up on the math section and you just need to know those 24 concepts. And if you know those 24 concepts, you can solve every single type of questions that show up on the SAT. Stop thinking about all the stuff that you learned in middle school, elementary school, and high school. Actually, high school stuff matters, but you want to start thinking within those 24 concepts. And if you're wondering how you're supposed to know what shows up on the SAT, check this book out, College Panda Math Book. I, not the author, but this book outlines exactly what you need to know for the math section. If you know everything that's in the book, you're going to know exactly what show up on the SAT. So get the book and study those 24 concepts, really understand them, really nail them down. And after you're done studying all the concepts, go to a practice exam. And whenever you see a question, think within those 24 concepts. Guys, don't even think about what you learned in high school, middle school, or elementary school. Like, don't even think about any of that. It's not on the SAT. Those 24 concepts are the only thing that shows up. And the moment you start thinking about other methods that you learn outside of these SAT prep books, it's going to start a chaos. You're going to try the methods that you're not even supposed to use. That's not what the question is intended to be solved by. And as a result, you're going to either find out that you did the wrong thing by getting the wrong answer after spending about one minute, or second, you might get the right answer, but you're going to spend about five minutes on a single question and you can't afford to do that. So the first thing you want to do is exactly know what shows up on the exam and just think within those topics. And after learning all those 24 concepts, what you want to start doing is start taking practice exams and force yourself to think within those 24 concepts. At first, it's going to take you a second to come up with the right method to approach the question. And that's, that's normal because you have never done it in this way before. And after a little bit of practice, you will eventually get faster. And here's why. SAT loves to recycle their questions. I mean, if you think about it, there are only so many ways that they can test you on triangles or circles or word problems or exponents. These questions are exactly the same questions with different words, different numbers, and just different scenario. They can be solved the exact same way and all you have to do is recognize what type of question it is. And with practice, you're just going to get faster and faster and faster coming up with the right approach to the question. Based on my experience, every single one of my students who got all those 24 concepts under their belt, they were able to come up with the right method to approach the question and solve it quickly 
they were able to find out exactly how to do a question in just 10 seconds. And 10 seconds is the longest they would ever take. Most of the questions that show up on the SAT, they just look at it and they know exactly what to do because SAT just loves to recycle questions. And they look at a question, I promise you, under five seconds, they know exactly what to do. And you can do the exact same thing. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. To summarize what we talked about today, here's what went down. First, we started off by talking about how I was able to finish a section three in just five minutes. And I'm not asking you to finish in five minutes, but the reason I was able to have so much time left was because I saw the question and I knew exactly what to do. And how did I know exactly what to do for each question? I knew exactly what was going to show up on the exam. For math section, there's going to be 24 concepts. For writing section, there's going to be 13 concepts. You want to know exactly what shows up on the exam and start thinking only within those parameters. Everything that's outside the parameters, just keep those things out. They are going to be your time wasters. Don't think about that. And how you can achieve the same result and always have time left is going to be two things. The first thing you can do is to realize that it's going to be tested on certain number of concepts and just memorize and study those concepts first. And second, after you finish learning all those concepts, try to take practice exams and force yourself to think within those concepts that you have learned for that specific section. At first, it's going to take you a second to get used to that new method. However, with enough practice and enough time, what's going to happen is you're going to start to recognize these questions and you're going to get a lot faster at it. And you'll be able to come up with exactly what to do for each question super quickly. And you're never going to have an issue with your time again. Anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. And if you guys love this kind of video and would love to see more, smash the like button and hit the notification bell on because every single week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3.30 p.m., I release these kind of videos. So what I do is I trim out the fats. I take out the stuff that you guys don't need for the SAT and only pinpoint the ones that you really need to know to raise your SAT score. That way you can start raising your SAT score quickly without having to sacrifice your GPA and spend hours and hours and hours on these test prep books. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. So no bullshit, girl, nothing extra Girl, I ain't playing games I wanna take your whole